What is up you guys, my name is Selena and today I'm going to be showing you guys this easy camera click effect. In my last video I posted, I had an intro scene and I had this little camera flash effect and I did it to emphasize the fact that I was going through my camera bag, I was going to be showing you guys what was in my camera bag. So yeah, I like to use this effect kind of when there's like a camera in the video or to just show that I'm like taking a picture or capturing something. So basically in this video, I'm just going to show you guys a quick breakdown, a tutorial on how to do this effect and we're going to be doing this in Premiere Pro. Before we really dive into this tutorial, I wanted to talk a little bit about my sponsor for this video, which is Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes teaching you many different skills. Premium membership gives you unlimited access to the classes so you can learn anything you want. Whether you want to fuel your curiosity or creativity, Skillshare is a perfect place to learn and do that. One class that I recommend is by Ryan Booth, it's called the DIY Cinematography, make your video look like a movie, and it's perfect for people that want to make your videos look more impressive and professional. Skillshare is also super duper affordable, especially compared to in-person classes and workshops. An annual subscription is less than $10 a month. Since Skillshare is sponsoring this video, you can sign up with the link in my description and get a two-month free trial. Okay, now let's continue on with the video. The first thing you're gonna do is make a new adjustment layer and you're gonna bring that on the video line above your clip that you want the flash to be going on. Once you have your adjustment layer, you're gonna go and add Lumetri Color onto the adjustment layer. Now the whole effect is kind of like just a flash and so it's just like a white bright light. So basically what I do to achieve this effect is just use the exposure and sometimes the highlights and shadow settings to make that white flash. So what I'm gonna do is go to the exposure. I'm gonna create a keyframe and have it start like two seconds after the clip and this will be my exposure setting will still be at zero. Then I'll make a keyframe in the beginning of the clip and have it start at as high as possible. So it'll start super bright and then it will become the normal clip. Sometimes if I want to have a bigger flash, I can use the shadows or the whites or highlights. Uh, what I'm going to do is just do the same exact thing with the whites. So I'm going to have a keyframe in the beginning of the clip that starts at the brightest setting possible, go a little forward to the same time that my exposure keyframe was at and have it go back to zero. It's your preference for how fast you want the flash to be. I kind of like it pretty fast, but yeah, it's up to you. You can also use this as a transition if you want. You can totally play around with this camera flash effect. To really sell the effect, you want to use a sound effect. I use a camera shutter sound effect that I found, I believe, on YouTube. You can also find camera click effects on freesound.org or Epidemic Sound, and you can really find unique ones. That's pretty much it for the effect. It's super easy, super simple, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.